remember Ethan's girlfriend at the time knocking on my flat door and she was crying. I was like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? This is at like 4 a.m. in the morning. And she's telling me that Ethan's not in a good state and he's gone out. I was very drunk and I ended up getting in the car and I left the flat with no intention of going back to the flat. I didn't know he felt that bad, that he felt that he had to even end his life or anything like that. I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. In your head, you've now whittled yourself down to meaning nothing. You don't really find any reason to be knocking about anymore. And that's where I'd ended up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'd sort of convinced myself that now was the perfect time to just make myself disappear. Thankfully, in the end, Ethan got in contact with people and he let them know that he was safe and he was coming home. It's weird how the world works, but I just got to a point and I sort of pulled the car over and I, it just hit me. I was like, what are you doing, mate? That was a very, very scary period for me because I didn't know if I was going to see my friend again, really. He's having, like, a mental breakdown and he just, like, collapsed into my arms and was just crying. I love my friend so much. Yeah, I will cry. I have done before. <sighs> I love my friends. 